What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am the devil reincarnated. Hitler reincarnated. I am the one, the only Keemstar. Yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday on the stream, we covered the grade A video and I, uh, the first one, and I exposed everything for being complete bullshit. All right. And I told you guys that I would stream again today uh, and cover part two. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to make a full video response, but it's my viewers on my stream that I want to talk to first because you're my motherfucking homies, all right? Like, I do an entertaining news show, all right? Um, but then I have like a stream and the people that come to my stream, I consider like my closest fans, my closest family, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're going to get into that. I just feel like we need one more song. You know what I mean? I think we need like one more song to like kind of before we get into all this shit. You know what I mean? What do you guys suggest? What do you guys suggest? Somebody said in the chat, hey. <laughs> Nah, Panda's overplayed. Panda's overplayed. Man, you know what? You know what? I, I know what I want to play. I know what I want to play. Man, more and more, I'm starting to feel like fucking Kanye up in this bitch. <laughs> Misunderstood. Creative genius. Alright. This is painful shit to watch, right? You know? But let's get into it. Fuck it. I never thought I would say these words, right? But I cannot fucking believe how much support some people have been giving Keemstar lately. I was reading comments on my last video, right? And some people are complaining about things like... Is that porn? Whoa, Grade, you weren't too hard on him. And who didn't deserve that? What? Listen, all well, no, the reason why people were fucking supporting me is because you flat out lied. You took things out of context. What I did was tell stories of what's happened in the past. I'm literally doing exactly what he does. I'm just reporting on stories. Honestly, I cannot believe that he's been getting any support from anyone at all. And why has he been getting support? Because he goes on Twitter and plays this. The vi I play the victim. Okay. I, I play the fucking victim. All right, man. Look. Grade A under A was my friend. I talked to him every day. Leafy was my friend. I talked to him every day for hours on end for the last five months. They were my friends. All right? They made up some story that I was talking shit about them. All right? And then they attacked me for views. And not only that, all of them shouted out scares. Now look, man, I'm only guessing because all I can do is guess because I don't know. But I'm starting to think that some type of deal was made between these people and scares. Because I remember multiple times me talking to Leafy and saying, dude, like, you're my friend and all, but like, I have to report this. Like... I'll try to help you out, but, like, I have to report this, all right? Scarce, on the other hand, man, like, that show is not, like, unbiased at all. If Scarce likes somebody, he fucking talks nice about him. I mean, dude, do you think if grade A under A were to come out as, like, let's say a rapist, hypothetically speaking, all right? Do you think Scarce would cover it? No! No, he wouldn't! No, he wouldn't! Because this guy, right here, just shouted out Scarce! Scarce is now in debt to him, Pyro, and Leafy. Scarce is never allowed to say anything negative about these guys because they shouted out his channel. But they know that me, even though I'm friends with them, I would try to help them out 
but I would have to report some stuff. Now here's a prime example, all right? Let's watch this video real quick. Let me download it, just so we don't lose it. And today we will be looking at two YouTube pranksters who completely disregard one of the YouTube guidelines. Along with grade A under A and Yoel, we will expose Rich Kids TV and CJ So Cool for abusing tags. But before we do that, Let's take a look at what exactly the YouTube guidelines say about tax. Great. Can you do us a favor? Today's prank reviewer, misleading metadata. Metadata refers to any and all additional information provided on a video. This includes the title, description, tags, annotations, and thumbnail. The reason we have metadata is so that you can add additional contextual information to your videos. Please do not use these features to game or trick our search algorithm. All metadata should be representative of the content contained in your video. Among other things, metadata added in an attempt to game search algorithms will lead to the removal of your video section. And you somehow wind up on there and you're like, All right, so you guys get the point, right? Yeah, that's because of these cheeky assholes on YouTube who decide to add tags on their videos that have nothing to do with the subject. Let's just take a Okay. What did our degrade say? Let's see here. That's cheating. For example, CJ So Cool writes fucking things like Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber in his videos when his videos have fuck all to do with Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber. And he's literally done this in at least 30 fucking videos. That is actually. Okay, okay. Let's see what else Great has to say. They rely on video makers using accurate tags and metadata. However, you have cunts like Rich Kids TV who probably get 12 year olds watching their videos. But even though his video has nothing to do with Lamborghinis whatsoever, his video still gets a Lamborghini ad placed on it. And do you really think that any of those 12 year olds who watch Rich Kids TV are gonna go and buy a Lamborghini? I fucking doubt it, right? But Lamborghini, the company, gets fucked over and loses money all because this art guideline will be removed and will be given a strike. And seeing that CJ's done this in at least 30 videos, that means that he deserves 30 fucking strikes. And given that three strikes means that your channel gets deleted, that means that his channel deserves to be deleted 10 times over. The same applies. All right, so grade A under A is basically saying misleading tags means that your fucking video should be striked, all right? And he's in this fucking video, right? Everyone gets the point, right? What the fuck? All right. I don't know where this video is, but I have it downloaded upstairs. Um, let me just explain to you what happened, okay? What happened is, Grade A under A, okay? He made this fucking video calling out these YouTubers for tags, right? That I just showed you, all right? In his earliest videos, all right? He had Jenna Marbles and Ray William Johnson in his tags of his videos. So he literally called, I have proof and I'll show proof in my video or I could just run upstairs and somehow transfer the video down, all right? But what I did as a friend is I contacted him, all right? And I said, dude, remove these tags. You just uploaded this fucking video saying that these channels need to be shut down and you literally did the same thing in your first two videos, all right? So like I went, I, I was like, he was my friend. I was trying to help him, all right? And the dude still fucking backstabbed me. And again, I will, I will show you more of that in the future in my video. Victim card. I've been depressed. I feel betrayed. I feel used. I'm a fucking person and no one treats me like a person. Okay, so again, I'm not even allowed to express myself, all right, and how I feel with these guys betraying me because what they'll do is take my Twitter videos, take them out of context, all right, and use them against me. Anyone at all. And why has he been getting support? Because he goes on Twitter and plays this, the victim card. I've been depressed. I feel betrayed. I feel used. I'm a fucking person and no one treats me like a person. I'm genuinely sick of being everyone's punching bag. Wow.
Why can't people just leave me alone to ruin careers and call innocent people pedophiles in peace? Okay. Ruin careers and call innocent people pedophiles in peace. Okay. This guy fucking called me a pedophile, all right, multiple times and tried to ruin my career. Isn't this the most hip hypocritical fucking piece of shit ever? You bastard. Listen, he's a racist who lies about people being pedophiles. He leaks. He's a racist who lies about people being pedophiles. He leaks people's private information on purpose. He literally laughs at kids while they cry their eyes out. Okay. This right here is a skit. All right. That kid right there is an actor that we paid. The person filming this is that kid's mother. He was paid a hundred dollars to be a part of our skit. Everybody knows that this is a skit. So why is it in there that he laughs at a kid being smashed ice cream in his face? Why is it in there? Why, why is this in there? If this is an exposed video, then why the fuck do you have something that's not real, an acted out skit and portraying it as it's real? Because grade A under A is a fucking liar. And he's crying about how he's being treated. Really? Listen. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody said sure, bud. What do you mean, sure, bud? Do you think that me and Only Use Me Blade went to the park, okay, as adults, all right, got an ice cream cone, all right, and said, hey, kid, here's an ice cream cone that we found on the park and smashed it in his face, filmed it, and then put it on YouTube? Anyone that believes that that is real is fucking retarded. It was a skit. Like, it is so fucking stupid that anyone would believe that that's real. Fuck that. Fuck him and fuck anyone who supports him. How can anyone sympathize with him? Even Hitler thinks this guy's an asshole. That's right, Grade. He's an asshole. Have people seriously forgotten all the shitty things that Keemstar's done in his past? Well, when people start sucking his dick, telling me that I went too hard on him, but simply t Who the fuck is this? Is this like a YouTuber or something? Telling stories of what he's done in the past, I think it's very fucking clear that people have forgotten all about Keem's past. So let me remind you. Listen, I'm not going to alter anything or make anything up, right? I'm j I'm not going to alter anything or make anything up okay just gonna tell you some stories exactly as i'm gonna tell some stories exactly as they happened they happened in my new show that i like to call cancer alert cancer alert so in this video i'm gonna very quickly go over some of the things that he's done in the past and end with something that you guys can do that Keem wouldn't like very much. Alright? If that's something you care to do. But anyways, let's take a look into the life of 34 year old man child, Keem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look into the life of 34 year old man child, Keem. Alright. Credit to Futuristic Hub, Joey Salads, and Kalo. All right, Futuristic Hub has been stalking me for five fucking years, okay? One in the chat, if you know who Futuristic Hub is, and that you know 100% that this dude is a stalker, all right? And that he's been stalking me. Not only has Futuristic Hub been stalking me for five years, but Futuristic Hub has threatened to hack threatened to shut down multiple channels of multiple YouTubers, threatened to fucking kill multiple YouTubers, and recently, after multiple scams and business cons on YouTube, he was sued for $20 million and lost, all right? The source of this pedo shit is from futuristic hub who then gave it to Joey Salads who made a fucking video along with this autistic kid Kalo who I met first on Battlecam 
when he told me that if I didn't talk to him privately, he was going to kill himself. He was going to kill himself. These people have been stalking, not Joey Salitz, but the Kalo and Futuristic Cub have been stalking me and harassing me for five years straight. And I am not the only person that they have harassed. They've also harassed Leafy. They've harassed TK. They were harassed Zombie Unicorn. They harassed Quobo Cop. They harassed uh, Syndicate. The list goes on and on and on. And this is the source of this pedo shit. And remember, Grade said, I'm not going to make up anything. I'm going to tell you things that happened exactly how they happened or something along that, those lines. First of all, right, let's just start with this pedophile shit. On Blog TV, there used to be a feature where you could co-host someone in your stream. So while you're streaming, you could show someone else in your stream like this, right? Mm -hmm. Keem would often have streams where he would encourage people to come and do crazy shit for him. All right, you fucking retards. Whoever wants to do something fucking outrageous, just uh, let me know. And as you can see here, right, Kim would have people come on and do crazy shit, like dance like a wanker like this guy's doing, but he was all too eager to have girls come on and show as much... By the way, I've been told from sources way more re reliable that Keem's sources for his pyro allegations that Keem liked seeing skin, but what the fuck? I don't even know what the fuck this says. Skin as possible. Just like this. Next girl. All right. Now, on my early days of streaming on blog TV, my show was fucking number one. And by number one, meaning the most viewed, the most subscribed, right? The most watched show on blog TV. Beating the Shaytards, beating Philip DeFranco, beating I Justine, beating Sean, Shane Dawson, everybody. My show was number one. It was a goddamn hit. And all the time we had girls getting naked. That happened so many times. It's like unreal, all right? People would do crazy stuff to get on the show, all right? That is 100% true. And as I said in my last video, there is a video floating around of a girl who is a 15-year-old fan of Keem where she is naked and she has pieces of paper covering her tits and pussy saying I love DJ Keemstar. Which I'm not going to show you in this video because I don't want this video age-restricted. Okay, now, the girl is 15 years old, all right, according to... Joey Salads, uh, Futuristic Cub, and Kalo, and uh, Grade A Under A. So who's the girl? Who's the girl? Where's the girl? I mean, let's just, I mean, this happened in 2010, all right? So let's see, that's another six years. So she would be like 21 right now, right? So who's the girl? Where's the girl? Where is the girl? Where is the fucking girl? Where is the 21-year-old girl that I, apparently, had her get naked with Keemstar signs? Where is she? Where is she? There's absolutely no proof to this whatsoever. The girl that he showed in that video, that Joey Salitz showed in that video, her name was Kate. She was a moderator on my stream. She was dating another moderator in my stream that was in his 20s. I believe he was like 22 or 24, okay? She represented herself as a 19-year-old girl. Now, do I know her exact age? No. No, I don't. Just like I don't know the exact age of anybody in this stream right now. How would I know your age? Are you going to fucking... Is everyone just going to... Uh, put their license, a picture of their license in the chat? Of course not. How do I know the exact age of anyone? I don't. I only know what they tell me, all right? I don't remember if I asked the girl to get naked with Keemstar fan signs or if she did it herself. I don't remember. It was six years ago, all right? But what I do know is that Kate was 19. Kate told everyone she was 19 and she was dating a 20 year old that she met on my stream, all right? How this gets twisted, that she's 15 
is unreal. Like, where is the proof that she's 15? Where is the proof? We just say that she's 15? She's 15. Take my word for it, guys. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. All right? Where is the proof that I asked her to get naked? All right? Where is the proof that I had her on my stream? Where is this proof? Where is the proof? There is no proof. These are simply just false allegations. There is absolutely no proof. And this is part of the reason why I'm taking legal action against him. All right. So since the evidence for Keem engaging with underage girls is far stronger than Pyro- Wait, since the evidence of Keem's- Where is the evidence? Where is the evidence? ...of paper covering a tits and pussy saying I love DJ Keemstar. Which I'm not going to show you in this video because I don't want this video age restricted. All right. So since the evidence for Keem engaging with underage girls is far stronger than Pyro- Since the evidence for Keem- Engaging with underage girls is far stronger than Pyro, all right? By Keem's own logic, if Pyro is a pedophile, then so is Keemstar. God, for real, with in On February the 16th, 2014, Keemstar must have left his house one day, right? And left his Twitter logged on at home. After this, Keemstar's girlfriend allegedly got onto his Twitter while he was out drinking with a friend and started tweeting. The tweets were sent from the same location as Keemstar, which adds proof. Okay. Oh, shit. Now, grade A under A, you're here. And so is Keemstar. God, for real, with the these On February the 16th, 2014, Keemstar must have left his house one day, right? And left his Twitter logged on at home. After this, Keemstar's girlfriend allegedly got onto his Twitter while he was out drinking with a friend and started tweeting. The tweets were sent from the same location as Keemstar, which adds proof to the tweets actually being sent from his girlfriend, right? She then told everyone about how Keem attacked her with a set of car keys. Just look at some of these tweets. My name is DJ Keemstar, and I like to physically and emotionally abuse my girlfriend. I just stabbed my girlfriend in the cheek with her own car wait, keys. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. My name is... Okay, notice the part where it says, I am a fucking huge faggot, okay? Why doesn't Grade read that part of it? DJ Keemstar, and I like to physically and emotionally abuse my girlfriend. I just- Wait, 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 why doesn't he read, I am a huge faggot, all right? How, why? Why? Why doesn't he read that part? Well, we'll get back to why he didn't read that part. Stabbed my girlfriend in the cheek with her own car keys. This is actually from- Wait, 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 wait. Again, again. Slipping off, huh? With a set of car keys. Just look at some of these tweets. My name is DJ Keemstar, and I like to physically and emotionally abuse my girlfriend. I now let's see if he reads this whole tweet. I just stabbed my girlfriend in the cheek with her own car keys because I wanted to go out and drink with Only Use Me Blade. Let's see if he reads that. I just stabbed my girlfriend in the cheek with her own car keys. This is- Wait, wait, what? How come he didn't read the other part of it? Okay, all right, let's see. Actually from his girlfriend who has lived through hell. So apparently- All right, he didn't read the end of that. Didn't read the end of that. Apparently, there's proof that he's a woman beater as well. You see, I told you he was an asshole. Okay, so there's proof that I'm a woman beater. All right, there's proof that I'm a woman beater, right? Because tweets went out on my fucking Twitter saying all types of stuff. Why didn't he read that I'm a huge faggot? Why didn't he read that part? Why didn't he read the part where it says that I'm out to drink with only use me blade? Hmm, I wonder. Let's find out. Basically, someone hacked his account and made it sound as if Melissa, who's Keem's uh, girlfriend, uh, got on there and said that she like that Keem beats her and stuff like that. And I'm just letting you know right now that is not the case. So Keem's reading this thinking like, well, maybe Melissa is like being crazy and wants to like, you know, be crazy to me about this. So let me go home and let me let me fix the situation. So we go home. Melissa's sleeping. So, Keem, like, unauthorizes a bunch of, like, apps or whatever that he linked to his Twitter, and then it never happened again or whatever. But a lot of people are under the impression that Keem, like, beats his girlfriend or somehow says that Keem is a bad father. You can talk shit about someone all you want. It's the internet. 
Keem's not going to get offended by it. Um, he's built for it. <laughs> but the 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 issue, the problem that I that I'm like, whoa, dude, I have to say something because normally I I stay out of it. I try to completely stay out of it. I try to just keep the chi cool. I try to be you know be better than that and not get mixed up with all that crazy dumb internet stuff. But like when people are saying that Keem is somehow a bad father or that Keem beats his girlfriend, I'm just like, uh, no. Sorry, I gotta fucking interject on this. Knowing Dan Keem personally as a friend, not as a YouTuber, I mean, I know him as a YouTuber, but like knowing him on a day in, day out basis and like going to like family functions, his family functions with him, like I consider this dude like a brother. And there's no way in a million years that he would ever beat on Melissa. Or be a bad father. So, people, let's just take all the negativity and separate real life from the internet. Peace and buckaroos. Now, this was uploaded on May 31st, 2014. Grade knows that this is not true, all right? Me and Grade have had conversations about this, all right? He knows that I was hacked. He knows without a shadow of a doubt that I was hacked, all right? Some people might say, well, how did the hacker know that you and Blade were out? Because we were tweeting pictures, because I was making Instagram pictures, because I was on social media while me and Blade were out, all right? I get a call, I get a, it wasn't a call, it was a text message from Hex saying, dude, what is going on? Are you hacked? And I looked at my Twitter and I'm like, what the fuck is this, all right? Now, I deleted the tweets, like instantly just deleted them. I don't know if the location information was on the tweets because that's part of the evidence that they're real is because there's location uh, details saying West Seneca, all right? So obviously this was Keem's girlfriend. The hacker was trying to be my girlfriend. He was acting as my girlfriend. So if the location was on there, all right, let me say two things on this, all right? One, I don't put the fucking location on my tweets. Like, I, I just don't do it. Melissa doesn't use Twitter, so she wouldn't know how to do it, all right? And two, um, you can mask your IP, all right? If anyone knows about VPNs, all right, you can get a, a, a fucking IP from anywhere in the world, any city in the world, all right? So obviously, if the location was on, the hacker got onto a VPN, turned the location on to try to convince people even more that it was Melissa doing it. Now, let me ask you another question, all right? If I was beating Melissa, all right? If I was beating the shit out of Melissa, she has multiple options. One, tell family and friends, all right? Two, call 911. <laughs> Three, use her own social media, Facebook, all right? Or four, go on my Twitter and tell my fans about it. None of that makes sense, all right? Now, Melissa has told me that she is willing to come on my video and talk about this, but I'm not sure if I want her on the video or not. Um, she's willing to do it, but I know she hates this stuff and she hates how this stuff has harassed her and harassed my other fam and my other family members. So I don't know if she's gonna come on and say anything or not in my video, but I might have her on just to put this thing to fucking rest because it's so ridiculous. It's not true. I was hacked and I just Dude, I'm being called a racist. I'm not a racist. All right. I'm being called a pedophile. I'm not a pedophile. All right. I'm being called a wife beater. I'm not a wife beater or girlfriend beater or child beater or anything. I am not these things. All right. And these are damaging, damaging things. All right. I'll bury you bastards. Not only that, right? But he's also incredibly racist. Incredibly Listen, we all know about him calling Alex the N word, right? Oh, fucking righteous fucking nigger, Alex is doing this shit, you fucking nigger. And his response to that is always, oh, that was seven years ago. Listen, if... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That was seven years ago. All right. Well, let's see what grade A under A has to say about all this. All right. Should be coming up soon right here. Bam.
Why do you think some YouTubers aren't willing to call out some of the toxic fans that create drama? Because it's pandering shit. People don't want to say anything that might anger the fans. Because the moment, because I have some unreasonable fans, man. Seriously, like on my subreddit. Fuck me. Zylan, what's going on, man? You good? Like you get unreasonable fans, and if I'm honest, not Reddit. I love Reddit, but my subreddit. Some of the some of their fucking expectations are ridiculous. This is stuff like one person. Like to give you an example for unreasonableness, right? Like uh, one person said, I was like, they said, why do you like Keemstar? Why don't you hate Keemstar? And I was like, you listen, with all due respect, he's done nothing to me personally. He's given me advice in the past, and he was able to get an offer on the table for me that would have been worth six figures, like over a hundred thousand dollars. And that's the kind of money that would retire my parents. Do you know what I mean, right? But I was unable to take it because at the time I had seventy thousand followers on Twitch. I can't just abandon them, right? Oh, one sec. Yo, I'm answering this question right now. So untrustworthy fart donates five dollars and says, "Detective, but." Detective Butthurt here, what do you say to the charges of enjoying the taste of Keemcock? So why do I like Keemstar? That's what I'm saying right now, right? So, I was talking about how he was able to get me a six-figure dollar, a six-figure deal, which I wasn't able to take, right? But he offered it me in a sense. He had it on the table with another company, right? With a stream.me. Someone says, why do you like Keemstar? I'm like, he was able to get me a six-figure dollar deal. Now, that, that puts him somewhat in my good books, do you know what I mean, right? Even though I wasn't able to take it, the gesture that he was able to, was willing to do so is cool. The person replies with, given that the benefits of me taking the deal is retiring my parents, my elderly parents, they're not that old, but retiring my parents who are entering a late old age now. This fucking self-righteous SJW loser has the fucking nerve to reply saying, if your parents knew the kind of stuff he did, they wouldn't be so fucking, I don't think they would be so fucking, uh, willing to take the money. Believe me, my parents would choose money or they would choose getting rid of their arthritis over, oh, this wanker once called someone a nigger. They don't care. And it was on battle cams. You go on battle cams expecting that. But I'm not, just, I'm not justifying it at all. But for this loser to tell me you shouldn't like someone who offered you a six-figure deal because they called someone the N-word in the past and they falsely accused someone of a pedophile for three hours. I don't give a fuck. My parents don't give a fuck. They would have taken that money in two seconds. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He doesn't give a fuck. His parents don't give a fuck. It would take the money in two seconds. All right. I should choose anything of my parents retiring and ending their arthritis. Fuck off, loser. I don't care. None of my concern, man. Anyways, dude, untrustworthy fart. Oh, no, I answered your donation. Sorry, man. Uh, yo, 234 laptop with a $7.22 says, What do you think about Kim being two-faced? E.g. being neutral on drama alert and then being biased on Twitter. That's not being two-faced. He even says himself that... Yo, yo I'll be honest, yo. Kim has a lot of bad qualities, right? Quote me on this. Keemstar is no angel, do you know what I mean, right? But one thing I admire Keemstar for is his honesty. Like, he's not too... What? What? Do you know what I mean, right? But one thing I admire Keemstar for is his honesty. Like, he's not two-faced at all. If he likes you, it will be very apparent. If he hates you, it will be very apparent. But with regards to the... DJ Kande, you fucking badass! Thanks for subscribing, man. But yo, he's not two-faced. The whole point of he, he says that the point of drama alert is to be to give the unbiased news. So he he has an opinion, but he likes to keep it away from drama alert. But to his he, to his small small, he's got like eight hundred thousand followers on Twitter. But to his the, to the selection of people that follow his Twitter, he's more than willing to give his opinion because it's not it's not the news. People that hate him, you would imagine, wouldn't go to his Twitter. But that's his take on it. Snap on again. I fucking love you, Snap on. With the ten dollars says you are awesome for taking care of your parents. That is quite honourable. Right on, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, man. You go on my subreddit, they won't fucking like that. But yo, I have nothing to do with my subreddit, man, seriously. Untrustworthy Fart with the 420 says, but it feels like all the drama that you keep trying to ignore is what is bringing you... The Hang on. It feels like the drama that you keep trying to ignore is what is bringing you the attention you want. The only attention that... Okay. The drama that you keep trying to ignore, the drama that I have ignored... Well, still gave me drama. I, I ignored the, the Fine Brothers drama. I ignored the... The leafy drama, the, the drama that I'm trying to ignore is bringing the attention you want. When I was not making drama, please please go to my social blade and check my stats, how well my channel was doing in the two months. Did I already, did I already pass the part where he talks about battle cam? Did I already pass it? That I didn't touch drama. And then please tell me if you want to fucking, if you stick with your comment or you want to get away from it. Untrustworthy part, untrustworthy part, I've much love for you. you all right, all right. So you get it, right? You get it, right? When I say that, Grade A under A has backstabbed me, and Leafy has backstabbed me. This is why. They were my friends, all right? They had no problem with me. Grade told me that he loved my videos, 
in the past and that he understands that it was battle cam and someone said some racist stuff to me so I said some racist stuff back, all right? He had no fucking problem with it. We were friends, all right? This was my friend. The, the reason why I told him to delete those tags out of his videos is because he was my friend. They respect me because I'm an honest person. I don't fucking lie, all right? All right? That, but they're lying, but they're lying about me now, and I'm proving to all of you that these are slanderous attack videos. These are lies. Something went on behind the scenes. I don't know if they made a deal with Scarce. I don't know if they now own part of Scarce's channel. I don't know if they just thought it was like a good political move to make is to... Uh, you know, support scares, have scares be the number one news thing so I can never uh, report a negative story on them. Try to destroy me so I can't report a negative story on them. I don't know why they did what they did, but they're lying. That was the one and only time he had done so, right? I could maybe let that go. The first thing, and probably the worst thing that I've ever done, uh, I mean, in my opinion, is calling someone the N-word calling Alex the N-word on battle cam. Don't listen to his lies. If anything, Keemstar calling someone the N-word is one of the better things this asshole's done. Just listen to these. I'm fucking white, I run this world. You're black, you're my slave, understand it. Know how we got the name Cracker? Cause we used to have the whips cracking the fuck out of you. First time a nigger gets a gun, he shoots his brother. I would hang the fuck out of you. The only reason why you wanna fuck a white chick is cause nobody wants to fuck a black chick. This dude is so embarrassed that he's black. Cause he knows he's a fucking second class citizen. Okay. Now... <laughs> The shit that I'm saying is so fucking wrong, all right? And it's so racist, and it's so incredibly fucked up. But guys, it was meant to be incredibly wrong. It was meant to be incredibly face racist. It was meant to be incredibly fucked up. I was engaging in a trash talking battle, all right? This did not happen on the street corner. This did not happen in my vlog, all right? This happened on Xbox Live, all right? I was known back in the day as Halo's number one trash talker, all right? And I would engage in trash talking battles. Now I know a lot of you were here yesterday, but I'm sorry, I'm going to have to rehash all this shit again, bear with me. There was a whole internet war that went on between me and Marshy and his clan, all right? My clan developed, and it was the Federation of Asshole Gamers. With myself, who's Italian, Duranker, who's white, all right? Two Bucks, who is Asian, and Robot, who is black, all right? These are the fucking members of my team, the Federation of Asshole Gamers, all right? Now, us four would go and piss people off on Halo 3 and record it, if they deserved it, all right? If we went into a lobby and they were talking shit, we would talk shit back, get them mad, so they would shoot us Betray us so we could then kick them out of the game. That was the troll. Now, me saying all these horrendous oh, things. Done. Just listen to these. I'm fucking white. I run this world. You're black. You're my slave. Understand it. Know how we got the name Cracker? Because we used to have the whips cracking the fuck out of you. First time a nigger gets a gun, he shoots his brother. I would hang the fuck out of you. Now. When I was saying that racist, offensive stuff, all right, I was saying it not as someone fucking spreading their political views. I was saying it as a character on a trolling team trying to bait people who were talking shit into killing me in Halo 3 so then I could then boot them from the game, all right? This is not fucking feelings from my heart, all right? 
This was a goddamn competition. This was a trash talking battle. This was a troll. This was a character. I created many characters, all right, in the Federation of Asshole Gamers. We had Pitstain, all right, who was a little boy. Hey guys, it's Pitstain here. Fuck you, I'm gonna fucking murder you all. I would go on and use that voice to get people to talk shit to me in Halo 3, all right? And then they would try to kill me to get me to react and I would play the victim and I'd be like, hey, why'd you betray me? You fucking asshole! If you do that again, I'm gonna tell my dad on you! And then what they would do is they would want more of a reaction so they would fucking kill me again. But all of a sudden, a little thing would pop up on Halo 3 that says, so-and-so betrayed at you. Would you like to boot this player? And then I would say something like, Hey, hey, what's the shape of Italy? And they'd be like, fuck you, uh, fuck you. Hey, no, for real, what's the shape of Italy? And they would respond, a boot. And then bam, I would boot them. The video is complete. We upload it to YouTube and we get a million fucking views. Hey, that was the whole gimmick. That's what FAG was. That's what we specialized in. We made these trolling prank videos. I also had another character called DJ Redneck. <laughs> Let me show you a little DJ Redneck. This was originally on uh, Machinima, but it looks like someone had to re-upload it. Fucking sick no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, haven't, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't heard that in a while. Okay. So, um, my point is, um, is that I had a lot of characters, um, and, you know, I made trolling videos, all right? Um, I'll show you a little Sparkles, the gay rapper, real quick. <laughs> okay, so you get the point, all right? I developed a lot of characters, all right? And I developed these characters to go into online games and to troll, to talk shit. This was part of my act, all right? This racist thing being shown over and over again is not reality, all right? It is a fucking character to make a troll video, to garner reaction to make a troll video. This is not who I feel as a per person. This is not my fucking um political views this is not my there's no hatred in my heart for any groups of people i was simply trying to entertain my fans and i was playing a fucking character who watched uh game of thrones tonight all right who watched game of thrones tonight one in the chat if you watched the new game of thrones all right so uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, tonight on Game of Thrones, um, the king committed suicide, all right? Now, I guarantee that actor is still alive because it's not fucking real. It's a fucking show. It's an act. It's a skit. They're playing characters, all right? So, this whole idea that I am a racist because... Someone has me saying racist things in a fucking Xbox Live Halo match from 2009 when it is 2016 is fucking ridiculous. The only reason why you want to fuck a white chick is because nobody wants to fuck a black chick. This dude is so embarrassed that he's black because he knows he's a fucking second class citizen. Jesus Christ! Just listen to all of that shit! And do you know who said all of this shit in the matter of just a few minutes? K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-
Here's their new video. Let's get 100 dislikes in like three seconds. We got 74. We, we got 109, you fucking piece of shit. 131. Did you see that, man? Okay. Now, what grade A under A did not tell you, all right, is that a guy that was in the Obey Call of Duty team fucking uploaded a Twitter video saying that he wanted to stick his penis in my child. All right? What Gray didn't tell you, and why this is taken out of context, all right, is because the guy in Obey said that he wanted to do sexual stuff to my kid. All right? The, there's all types of proof. There's all types of proof. What? Okay, first of all, who remembers the guy in Obey that fucking uploaded a Twitter video saying sexual stuff about my kid? Because that's the whole reason why me and Scarce even got into a fucking fight. Alright? Everyone remembers this. Alright? And I'm sure I can find proof somewhere if I start looking it up. Alright? But everybody remembers this. And the reason why I was saying that Obey is a pedo team is because Obey didn't even kick this guy. They didn't even kick him from the team saying the sexual stuff. Then Scarce ended up uploading a fucking video laughing about it. Alright? So look. Alright? That's the reason why I called them a pedo team. And that's the reason why I told people to hate on them. Is because they fucking were saying sexual stuff about my six-year-old daughter at the time. Five-year-old daughter at the time, I believe. Hey, Kim got this video well over 50 dislikes in less than six seconds. And on a video that originally had about 10 dislikes. I don't know if YouTube should be okay with someone who does that. And then... Alright, now move on to their next video. There should be fucking comments and dislikes on every one of their fucking videos. He tells his fans to just keep on doing it to as many videos as they can. And they do. Listen, doing that unfairly fucks a YouTube channel over. And he's still doing it to this day. Okay, and I'm still doing it to this day. Now listen to this next part, because it's very fucking interesting. About two weeks ago when Power Cynical uploaded his video, he even apparently did it to him, causing him to get- He even apparently did it to him, causing him to get- Now listen, okay. Grade A under A has went into the archives of this stream, alright, to garner this proof, alright? Now he makes a claim that I told people to go dislike Pyro's videos, alright? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? What, just because Pyro says it? So apparently Keem name dropped me on his stream, then deleted the stream. That probably explains why I got 5k dislikes. That does not exist. Everybody fucking records every fucking stream I'm on. People are recording me right now. Alright? This is a fucking lie. This is a lie. Grade A under A is a fucking liar. He just added this part on, all right? He just added this part on with no proof. Yeah, apparently he did this to Pyro too, look. Like, it's so annoying, all right? It's non-stop lies. 5,000 dislikes in the span of about 20 minutes. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I make him with my gun in my hand. He's an insensitive asshole. He also thinks it's funny to tell YouTubers who are suffering from cancer that he can't wait to report on the death. Look. Look. I am not innocent here. What I said was fucking wrong. What I said to Total Biscuit is wrong. And that's why four months ago, I uploaded a 10 minute apology. All right, a 10 minute apology on Twitter to Total Biscuit. All right, this tweet right here was deleted within a matter of three minutes. After I uploaded it, I immediately felt fucking sorry for it. All right. And I took it down because I went too far. Look, you fucking piece of shit. Can't wait to report your death. <laughs> Do you know who else? But he skipped I it. cannot believe. In certain ways, right? Fuck he this. actively tries to fuck YouTube channels over by sending his viewers to go and dislike videos that he doesn't like. He can fucking gains. You know you're a problem. An insensitive asshole. He also thinks it's funny to tell YouTubers who are suffering from cancer that he can't wait to report on the death. Look. 
Okay, why does he cut this? It's a fucking 28 minute. You fucking piece of shit. Can't wait to report your death. He cut the middle part because in the middle part I say, I say this, I say, uh, I was a fan of you. I say I was a fan of you and you're fucking treating me like shit or something like that. And I go, now you make me not want to be a fan. You make me want to say, I can't wait to report your death. He cut the middle part out to make this look as bad as possible. Do you know who else says shitty things about YouTubers with cancer? Vegan gains. When you're saying- He cut the middle part. Why? Oh my God. Proof. <sighs> Keem star total biscuits. Here we go. Look, you fucking piece of shit. I've been fucking watching you for years. I've been a fan of you for years. Out of the blue, you tweet at me, you're not news, and then you fucking block me? Why? Oh, I've never even fucking said anything about you at all. Like, now I want to. Now I want to be like, hmm, can't wait to report your death. <laughs> now, what I said is fucking wrong, all right? What I said is just wrong, all right? But, again... Grade fucking manipulates the situation and doesn't play the middle part. All right, there's a difference between the two things that was said. Piece of shit. Can't wait to report your death. Where's the middle part? Where is the middle part? All right, I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm wrong. All right, but why is the middle part taken out of context? You fucking piece of shit. I've been fucking watching you for years. I've been a fan of you for years. Out of the blue, you tweet at me, you're not news, and then you fucking block me? Why? Oh, I've never even fucking said anything about you at all. Like, now I want to. Now I've never said anything bad about you at all. Now I want to. I want to be like, hmm. Now I want to be like, hmm, can't wait to report your death. <laughs> this shit is wrong, all right? I'm not saying what I said was right. But dude, he even he could have played that full clip and proved that what I said was wrong. But he purposely took it out of context, fucking got rid of the middle part where I'm saying I was a fan of his and that I never said anything wrong about him to make it look as bad as possible. Do you guys understand that grade A under A has just lying? He's misleading everyone. <laughs> Do you know who else says shitty things about YouTubers with cancer? Vegan gains. When you're saying the same things as vegan fucking gains, you know you're a problem. And not just the once, he did it again. When Total Biscuit commented that all of Keem's fans seem to be seven years old or younger, despite it being kind of true, Keem attacked his cancer again. No, Total Biscuit was on a fucking panel, and Total Biscuit said that Ke all of Keemstar's fans are seven and younger, and it's kind of creepy. He was suggesting that I'm a pedophile, all right? So all I said is when a cancer patient calls my fans seven years old, all right? Or a cancer patient calls my fans seven years old. I mean, he is a cancer patient and he did call my fans seven years old, all right? Total Biscuit was on some panel and he was asked a question and then he went on to say that he's never seen a photo with me and one of my fans where the fan is above the age of seven, basically saying that I'm a pedo. Dude, you got cancer. Leave the internet. Go spend time with your family. Quit talking shit about people. And why did you do this? Yeah, and I really don't understand that. Like, I don't know. If I got cancer, right, I would leave the internet. I wouldn't be, like, still here talking shit about people and fucking trying to slander people, you know what I mean? And engaging in, I don't know, like, internet wars. I have cancer. I'm going to die soon. I'm going to go spend time with my family, not on the internet. All right, I think that's a valid point, but whatever. Because, right, Keem said that he's not okay with the tax on his fans. Yep, you make an innocent joke about how old my fans are, despite how true it might- An innocent joke, he fucking suggested that I'm a pedo. Be right, I'm gonna attack your life-threatening disease. <laughs> Speaking of people who say shitty things about Keem's fans- To make sure you motherfuckers understand! Guess who else says shitty things about Keem's fans? Like, my fans are complete cancer. Like, my fans are bad, and I know this. I know this. That does not mean because you watch me or you're subscribed to me that I owe you anything. I don't owe you shit. Well, look at that, mate. 
Which, listen, if you're a fan of Keemstar, you just heard it from Keemstar himself. You're cancer, you're bad, and he knows this. And if you're subscribed to him, he doesn't owe you a fucking thing. How the fuck you go? All right. Now listen. All right. I'm sorry. I have talked shit to my fans a lot. All right. But it's always jokes. All right. However, all right. I have criticized my fans for being toxic because I'm sorry, but my fans are fucking toxic. All right. They are. All right, there's, there's, there's no way around it. Can I get a one in the chat if you guys are fucking toxic? I mean, you just are, all right? But it, it doesn't mean that I don't love you. It doesn't mean that I don't appreciate you, all right? I fucking love you. I appreciate you. Like, I, I love the fact that these giant YouTubers have organized a fucking well- thought out, planned attack to destroy me, and there are still people sticking up for me. There are still people that fucking love me. There are still people that want me to succeed. I mean, fuck guys, I fucking tweeted out, if I can get to the fucking top of this goddamn thing, I tweeted out, retweet if you still love Keemstar, and it has 1,300 retweets. I fucking love you. I mean, I'm under the worst attack that I've ever been under and people still support me and love me. So I'm sorry that I have called you guys toxic or said that you're cancer or whatever, but it doesn't change the fact that I fucking love you and appreciate the fact that you guys support me. All right. So, you know, I, I can't believe this point was even being made. I mean, when grade A under A has already said, like I showed you in that fucking video, where he said that his fans are fucking retards too. So what am I supposed to do? Like, look. I'm not willing to call out some of the toxic fans that create drama, because it's pandering shit. People don't want to say anything that might anger the fans, because the moment, because I have some unreasonable fans, man, seriously, like on my subreddit, fuck me. Zylan, what's going on, man, you good? That like, you get unreasonable fans, and if I'm honest, not Reddit, I love Reddit, but my subreddit, some of their, some of their fucking expectations are ridiculous. They say stuff like, one person, like, to give you an example for unreasonableness, right? Like, uh, one person said, I was like, they said, why do you like Keemstar? Why don't you hate Keemstar? And I was like, listen, with all due respect, he's done nothing to me personally. He's given me advice in the past. And he was able to get an offer on the table for me that would have been worth six figures, like over $100,000. And that's the kind of money that would retire my parents. Do you know what I mean, right? But I was unable to take it because at the time I had 70,000 followers on Twitch. I can't just abandon them, right? On one sec. Yo, I'm answering this question right now. So Untrustworthy Fart donates $5 and said, Detective Butt... Detective Butthurt here, what do you say to the charges of enjoying the taste of Keemcock? So why do I like Keemstar? Is what I'm saying right now, right? So I was talking about how he was able to get me a six-figure dollar, a six-figure deal, which I wasn't able to take, right? But he offered it me in a sense. He had it on the table with another company, right? With a stream.me. Someone says, why do you like Keemstar? I'm like, he was able to get me a six-figure dollar deal. Not that, that, that puts him somewhat in my good books, do you know what I mean, right? Even though I wasn't able to take it, the gesture that he was able to, was willing to do so is cool. The person replies with, given that the benefits of me taking the deal is retiring my parents, my elderly parents, they're not that old, but retiring my parents who are entering a late old age now. This fucking self-righteous SJW loser has the fucking nerve to reply saying, if your parents knew the kind of stuff he did, they wouldn't be so fucking, I don't think they'll be. All right, so Gray just called his fans losers, you know. Woo! Hypocrite. Keemstar does not give a fuck about anyone's privacy, right? As I mentioned in my last video, there's a YouTuber called Pyro Cynical who doesn't really show his face, right? But Keemstar went around showing Pyro's face as often as he fucking could, making a decision himself on Pyro's privacy. And apparently, I'm hearing that Keemstar has been responsible for a lot of people's docs getting out there. Even smaller YouTubers who- Like who? Like who? I've barely interacted with him at all. Alright, first of all, first of all, alright, look. <laughs> he is a fucking liar, alright? Grade A under A is a fucking liar. These are lies.
You don't need millions of subscribers for this man child to target you, right? You can just have tens of thousands like YouTuber Josh A. It all started whenever I tweeted a meme about Keemstar being cringy. So then he uh, he tweets out uh, my personal Skype information, uh, which also has my last name in it, uh, which anybody can just find my Facebook now and, you know, contact me or my family. Now I have to delete my Facebook. I have to delete my Skype. I'm just some guy with 2,000 followers. I don't understand what his... what his beef is. Now that's obviously fucked up, right? But Keem manned up and apologized on his very public Twitter. Hey Josh, I just seen your video and I guess I owe you an apology. Um, and I had no idea that your last name was in your Skype, so I'm sorry. But then, on his much less public stream... Like this Josh A kid is such a fucking faggot. A manipulative little cunt. Like seriously, fuck this guy, dude. All right, now this was all taken out of context. You see these jumps? Look at these skip jumps. On his very public Twitter. Hey Josh, I just seen your video and I guess I owe you an apology. Um, and I had no idea that your last name was in your Skype, so I'm sorry. But then on his much less public stream. Like this Josh A kid is such a fucking faggot. Manipul- Skip. Live little cunt. Like seriously, fuck cut. Fuck this guy, dude. If you see cut, see any video from fucking Josh A, say fuck you, dude. Josh, I cut. Don't like you. All I have to do is fucking lay everything out to my audience on Drumler, and your channel is fucking rip, okay? Cut. You fucking cunt. Fuck that kid, dude. And then. Now, why am I mad? Now, why am I upset, alright? Didn't I apologize to Josh? Didn't I apologize to Joss? Everything should have been fucking cool, right? Well, let's find out what Great has to say. And in private! After he apologized, he DM'd me asking to have the video taken okay. down. But because I mentioned money, he offered to pay to have the video taken down, which is truly a slimy thing to do. He was like, please, I'm getting so much hate. Well, man, you should have considered you'd get a lot of hate for doxing my information. Classy guy! Yeah, my All right. Now again, that whole situ situation was manipulated all right, to the point that it just makes me look so incredibly bad, all right? I'm going to explain to you exactly what took place, all right? Josh A was an unknown YouTuber, all right, who reached out to me and asked me to be on a music track of his, all right? So I was on one of his fucking music tracks, all right? One minute. Let me see if I can find the DMs. For fuck's sake. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right, this is what happened, all right? Josh A, two years ago, all right, reached out to me and asked me to be on a musical track with him, all right? And uh, I said yes, and then I shouted out his Twitter. I sh excuse me, I shouted out his YouTube video. I shouted out his channel. I told people to sub to him, and I even promoted it this guy's album on Twitter many years ago. Now I looked for the tweets and I can't find them because I use some app to delete old tweets, all right? But these are the things that I've done for him. I came on a music track, I promoted his YouTube video, I promoted his YouTube channel, got him subs, and I promoted his album and told people to buy it on iTunes. Now, I haven't talked to Josh in two years. All of a sudden, all right, I'm on vacation at the resort, all right, and I'm on Twitter, and I notice that this dude is talking shit about me, calling me a gnome, calling me all this stuff. And I'm looking at the name, and it says Josh A, and I'm like, isn't this the guy that I helped? So I'm like, aren't you the fucking guy that I shouted out your Twitter and did all this stuff, you fucking loser, all right? Um, and shouted out, oh, I keep saying Twitter, your YouTube channel. Like, why are you attacking me, you fucking loser? And then I go back to the DMs, and I see a part where he's thanking me, so I took a screenshot of it and tweeted it out so he would stop fucking attacking me. Because I, I'm like, I helped this dude. Why is he talking shit about me, right? I, I helped launch this guy's career. Now, in the fucking screenshot that I took, it had his Skype name. I didn't know that the Skype name showed his fucking um, real name. All right, I didn't even know the Skype name was even in the screenshot I took. I just took it, I was mad, and I fucking sent it to him, all right? So he uploads this fucking video saying, Keemstar released my personal information, all right? And this big, long sob story about how 
me taking a screenshot which had his Skype in it was somehow doxing him and I did this maliciously. No, dude, I was trying to prove that you are that I helped you out in the past and that you're now just talking shit about me. I fucked up, however, all right? I should have read everything in that screenshot. I should have seen that it was a Skype and I shouldn't have tweeted it out. But anyhow, he makes this video, right? And it starts going viral. It's like on the front page, page of Reddit with this Josh A guy saying, Keemstar fucking release my personal information. All right. I see the video. I'm like, fuck, dude. I'm getting enough shit as it is. I fucking tweet out an apology video to him. All right. So I tweet out the apology video and then I go into the DMs and I'm like, Josh. And he goes, hey, man. I'll make a vid about you apologizing and stuff and tell people to stop attacking you if they are. I haven't checked. I appreciate you reaching out to me and it means a lot for the apology. And I respond by saying, is there any way you can take that vid down? I'm truly sorry. I took my anger out on my friends backstabbing on me, on you. Because again, Create A under A and Leafy were my friends. They backstabbed me. I literally have a new host. I'm like on vacation to get away from this bullshit. And then another person that I fucking helped out is talking shit about me. And I'm just asking you guys to please be me for two seconds, right? Like this is another person that I helped out that is talking shit about me. All right? So then I say, um... Very few people know what it's like to be me now. The scale of the hate and the attack is so great. I'm having a hard time keeping it together. And at that point, I really was. All right? He responds by saying, I understand that that you would ask. I can put a timed annotation at the beginning where it stops and the video and the vid saying everything is forgiving. I'll also post a video about you apologizing and I'll tell people to stop hating. I'm not removing the video. Unfortunately, I understand if that would make you mad, but the video now represents a token of sheer support the YouTube community can bring and that's something I've never experienced. This is also my job and I only average 30,000 views per vid. Having a video like this helps me eat, helps me pay rent. All right, so I'm talking to this dude and this dude's telling me, look, I need to keep the video up. I've never had support like this before. It's going viral. A video like this helps me eat, helps me pay rent, all right? Refresh, oh my God, if I refresh, then I have to go all the way through the fucking DMs again. Guys, this is real, I'm not fucking with you. Um. I will refresh at the end of this and then go back to it just to prove it. I, I guess I have to fucking do everything to prove this shit, right? So I respond, all right? He, when he's telling me that he's having money problems, all right? I, I felt bad for him. And I said, I'll pay you money. I'll pay the money that you would lose, all right? I go, Josh, I'm being attacked by everyone right now, all right? So basically, he's telling me he has money problems. So then I offered him money, all right? Is that what Josh tells everyone else? No. Josh starts telling people that I offered him money to take down the video. But that's not what happened. That is not what happened. I didn't offer you money to take down the video. You told me that you were fucking poor. All right? So I offered you money that you would lose by taking down the video because everything between me and you was cool. But they just manipulate it. They just manipulate it to make it seem like this horrible, horrible thing when this is the reality. And the reason why I got mad at Josh, all right, is because after everything was cool, after he uploaded that video and I apologized and everything was cool, let's see what Mr. fucking Josh A did about it. How's it going, guys? Uh, so yesterday was just absolute madness. Uh, we ended up on the front page of Reddit's video section, YouTube's trending page, just... Thank you guys so much. Uh, the video about the gnome has gotten way more support than I could have ever imagined. He calls me the gnome. What? Why the fuck is he calling me the gnome? All right, I'm literally just talking to you, and you're like, everything's cool. I'm going to let people know that you apologize. And he's still talking shit about me. Again, can I remind you, when this dude had fucking like 3,000 subscribers, I shouted him out.
imagine and you know it really restores my faith in humanity and while all this went down we got 6,000 new subscribers which is just nuts like I think I'm gonna call my subscribers the gnome resistance you know like how Mr. T Lexify has the minion resistance well we got the gnomes uh, we this guy that I fucking helped launch his career that I was even on a fucking one of his music tracks to help him out talk shit about me all right I prove that he, I helped him out by showing DMs. It has his Skype in it. I don't fucking, I didn't know that. I deleted it 20 minutes later. He then makes a video that goes viral, playing victim like I somehow dox this dude, all right? Then I make peace and I ask him to take the video down now that me and him are cool. And he tells me he has to stay up because he has money problems. So then I offer him money that he would lose by removing the video. And then he fucking uploads this so-called apology where he continues to attack me and milk this for everything he could possibly get. The reason why I was on my stream saying fuck Josh A is because then Josh A went on Twitter and started telling his people on Twitter that I offered him money to take down the video. He manipulated what really happened, what really took place. He manipulated the whole fucking thing. You could read right in the DMs the conversation. But will they read the conversation? Because they know that no one is going to fucking take the time to read that. Everyone's just going to listen to the words. Do you want me to go back? I said listen to the words, but I realized that we already... I offered to pay money to have the video taken down. No, that is not what happened. I said I will pay you the money you would lose thing to do. He was like, please, I'm getting so much hate. Well, man, you should have considered you'd get a lot of hate for doxing my information. Classy guy! Yeah, my heavyweight in the I was like, wait, he says, he was like, please, I'm getting so much hate. I said, Josh, I'm being attacked by everyone. All right, like, why, why, why just change the words to what I'm saying? Just read what it says. All right, why say he offered me money to take the video down? All right, why say, he said, please, I'm being attacked by everyone. The fucking screenshot is on your fucking video. Like, why not just read word for word what's said? Oh man, you should have considered you'd get a lot of hate for doxing my information. Classy guy! I doxed his information. Guys, I doxed Josh's A's information. I doxed his information because I showed a screenshot, all right, where he then gave me his Skype, all right? Apparently, that's me doxing his information. Okay, do you see how they manipulate? Do you see how they fucking manipulate everything? How they make everything seem like it is something that it is not? Why not just say Keemstar tweeted out a, a screenshot of the DMs that had my Skype in it, all right? Why not just say that? No, that doesn't sound good enough. Tell your audience that Keemstar doxed you. That's what you need to say. Like, it's just... They manipulate every fucking thing. Yeah, my heavyweight in this game, you just One question that's in the air, right? Who really owns Drama Alert? Now listen, Keemstar says that he doesn't own it himself, right? And that he's just a hired contractor. A theory which is helped along by this suspicious disclaimer on the About tab on the Drama Alert channel. How convenient! But, if that's the case, right, that Keemstar is just hired by Drama Alert to present the news, then why is he making executive decisions for Drama Alert that only the owner should be making? Like, for example, what YouTube network to be with. And I know there's been a lot of people in the past, and there will be a lot of people in the future, that go with a certain network because I'm with that certain network. I'm with that certain network. And they're influenced by that. Alright, the rest of the video is just basically, I, I, I believe, I don't think there's any more new stuff of me getting exposed. But the rest of the video is basically saying that I don't fucking own drama, or that I own, I'm the real owner of Drama Alert, that everyone's um, subbing to me, and that, you know, that he replays the fucking racist shit again, and he tells people to go sub to Scarce because that's going to piss me off. All right? But look, man, I, I, I just want to say this, Grade. If you wanted to piss me off, all right, I'll, I'll tell you this right now, all right? You didn't have to get people to attack me, all right? You didn't have to get people to go sub to scares to piss me off, all right? You pissed me off the fucking moment, the fucking instant that you betrayed me. Because we were friends. I had your back. I stuck up for you. I promoted you. I put you in my fucking sub box on drama alert, all right? When you didn't put me in your sub box, I put you on my sub box because I wanted to see you succeed when you had 
I don't even know, fucking 500K subscribers, all right? I've been rooting for you. I've been tweeting out your videos. I've been liking your videos because I was your fan. I was your friend. I was your loyal friend that looked out for you and Leafy and you fucking betrayed me. And you didn't just betray me on a small scale. You betrayed me to the point where you tried to ruin my career by putting up false information out of context and tried to slander me. I should be tough. <clears throat> I should be tough. I should be hard. I should be very, very vicious and vindictive with all this and seek revenge, but I'm still hurt. And I'm not allowed to say that I'm hurt by a friend fucking betraying me like this. Because if I say that I'm hurt and my feelings are hurt, that means I'm playing the fucking victim. Literally everything I say, every time I express myself or express my feelings, everything is taken out of context and used and manipulated to be something that it's not as a means to attack me. Motherfuckers, I made you famous. Understand how it might be Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the stream. Like me. Thank you for coming out. You much for thank you for supporting me. Free. Thank you for the fucking hashtag stand with Keem. I love you motherfuckers. I made that bitch famous. Just to give you an idea of how fucked up this whole situation is. When Greg launched his t-shirt shop, when we were friends, I was the first person in a Skype call to order one. Let's open this shit up. Backstabbing, hypocritical piece of shit. Right? And just to prove it, order number one. I was the first one to buy your fucking shirt, you fucking piece of shit.